is where all eyes are right now. Mercedes-Benz Stadium, the dogs and the Tigers tomorrow, 4 o'clock kickoff. Tailgating down in and around Mercedes-Benz Stadium, downtown Atlanta, mostly cloudy, and it is going to be mild. We'll find temperatures right there in the mid-60s. We'll examine that cool down next week coming up in just a minute. Oh, it is much more than a rematch between the oldest college football rivals in the Deep South. Georgia versus Auburn, big enough, of course. They've faced off a number of times to decide the SEC championship. But this will be the first time in the SEC championship game. And for the winner, it'll mean a trip to the college football playoffs. We have live team coverage tonight. Fox Eyes Doug Evans is with fans. But we begin with Cody Chaffins, who's live at Mercedes-Benz Stadium, which is hosting the SEC title game for the very first time. Cody. Yeah, you're right, Russ. Uh, it is the first time here, and you know, kickoff isn't till tomorrow at four o'clock. But it was already a busy day inside Mercedes-Benz Stadium, where Georgia coach Kirby Smart and Auburn coach Gus Malzahn both held press conferences, and then players from both teams did something they've never done before. Let's have a practice in the bins. Georgia and Auburn players with their chance to get a first look at Mercedes-Benz Stadium before Saturday's showdown. A new experience for all of the UGA players, and the SEC championship is something dog fans haven't had since 2012. There were there was a time that that the the Bulldog Nation in Georgia probably took it for granted, where there was a run of however many years in a row they were able to come, and I don't think sometimes you appreciate that until you've lost it. Um, I certainly, as coaches, we know the challenges it present, presents to make it here. Georgia's road to the championship only came with one bump: a 40 to 17 loss earlier this month to Auburn. But Tigers coach Gus Malzahn says don't think UGA will be more motivated. As far as the revenge, and I'm sure they're going to have some of it, but this is a championship game. And this game is as big as it gets for our conference. And the winner wins the conference championship. So I know both teams are going to be motivated. You know, as far as them having more fans, I think, you know, a lot of their people have more boxes and, and all that from what I understand. But I know the fans that we do have here, Tomorrow, they're going to have their A game, and we're going to be loud too. And the other big question for Gus Malzahn in that press conference today was the status of his star running back, Carrion Johnson. We'll share what he had to say coming up later on Fox 5 News at 6. Live at Mercedes Benz Stadium, Cody Chaffins, Fox 5 News. All right, we'll see you later, Cody. Kick off at 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon, but tailgaters are already outside the dome ready to cheer the dogs to victory. Fox 5's Doug Evans joins us now live from Tailgate Central tonight, where <laughs> they're winners no matter what, it sounds like, Doug. <laughs> Listen, the party's already started here in the uh, RV lot, just a little bit north of Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Let me show you some of the outfits here, man. That's Phil Nichols. This is his, this is his spot right here. He's got the RV. He's got everything here. He's got the light set up. He's got everything. Having a good party. Wow! <laughs> A lot of people are enjoying themselves already. Not just Phil, but a lot of people, uh, both Auburn fans and Georgia fans. We took Sky Fox drone up for a better look. The tailgaters began arriving today for the big party. Sky Fox drone flying over the RV lot this afternoon, where dog and tiger fans celebrate side by side all the way through game day. What's the key to it? The dogs gonna show up this time. It's gonna be all dogs. Got a, quite a few folks coming for a tailgate. We'll probably have somewhere in the neighborhood of 75 to 100 folks here, and uh, looking forward to having a great time. Well, you know that my heart says that Auburn's gonna win, but it's really hard to beat uh, the same team twice. Most of the tailgating will take place Saturday. The usual lots for Falcon tailgating will be open for fans on Saturday. Mercedes-Benz Stadium officials say the SEC championship game will be the biggest event the new dome has hosted so far, with 70,000 fans expected to fill the seats. And on the topic of the old Georgia Dome, many fans came by to satisfy their curiosity. The stadium now a debris field. Go! There was a buzz around downtown, but there seemed to be fewer fans on the streets on the eve of the big game. Perhaps because Georgia and Auburn are right down the road, the big influx of fans will come on game day. One place for fans to converge today was the SEC Fan Fair, the Georgia World Congress Center. Here you can try a field goal, lay out for a pass in the end zone, or 
Make your best moves through the D-line. Everybody's got a prediction. Auburn really needs to show up. To beat Georgia twice will be huge. Uh, <laughs> and if we do, this is truly the greatest team in the nation. But uh, Georgia's going to be tough. I think we're focused. We're focused. They, they, they caught us off guard and uh, kind of woke us up. So it's put up or shut for us now, and we're ready to put up. All right, we're in one of these plush RVs where they're tailgating tonight. This belongs to Randy Mead. Take a look at this place, man. This is this is nicer than my house and apparently about five times more expensive. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. I mean, I guess this is how dog fans do it. This has got everything. This is just one of the bathrooms in here. Here's the master bedroom and there's the master bath back there. Randy tells us this thing is worth over about two million dollars. Quite a setup here. They're certainly enjoying themselves here. Down at the RV lot, we're a couple blocks north of the uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Remember now, tomorrow, uh, fans can take bags inside uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium, but it's the NFL rule, right? So you can only take one bag. It's got to be clear plastic, right? Uh, same thing for a Falcons game. So look that up online if you have any questions. A lot of excitement down here and a big party that is already, well, you saw it, well underway. In downtown Atlanta, Doug Evans, Fox 5 News. Who needs a ticket when you can watch from an RV like that? That is really quite something. Doug, thanks very much. Well, 